this is my way to create a scene. Everything understood? Okay. Then I can take a break and have a drink. Peace. Hello again. Now the lesson for the slower students begins. In order to work in Anima 4, we need to implement a background scene. In Cinema 4D we prepare our scene. We don't need the whole scene, just the elements where the people should walk around. So reduce everything to the minimum and export it as OBJ object. In Anima, we import the OBJ scene. When importing, pay attention to the size unit of the scene. Otherwise the dimensions are not correct. Now you should see your scene in the display. To keep the overview, while working, you can reduce the scene from top to bottom. On the right side there is a bar that you can drag up and down. First of all, I want to introduce you to the escalator function. You simply connect one point to another and Anima creates an escalator between the two points. This is just one of many tools Anima has to offer. Let's now create a motion path for our figures. With the path tool we can easily define our path. The path automatically connects to the escalator. Now we can send a figure on its way. Anima provides us with several figures. Let's choose one and connect it to the path. To get our figure on the escalator faster, I move it forward a bit. The camera function of Anima is a bit annoying, but with time you can handle it. When the figure arrives at the end of the path, it jumps back to the beginning. Now we want to see more people on the street. When we select the path, we can load different figures into a preset on the left side. Anima provides us with different motion models. All figures moving in the same direction. Figures walking in both directions. And more. Now we click on generate and many figures appear running along the defined path. In our example, all figures run in the same direction. This is because of the escalator. If you define a path with an escalator, the figures can only run in the direction the escalator leads. If you want the figures to run on the same path in different directions, we have to remove the escalator. Now we can select the path and choose both in the options, which allows us to run in both directions. We can also define how many people are on the path. In Anima Pro, we have a figure tool. Here we can set the usable figures according to our ideas. Anima also provides us with a large selection of animations. These are automatically cut into the scene by Anima and influences the behavior of the individual figures. A super fact is that Anima can recognize the bone structure of Mixamo. This means that you can simply import a figure from Mixamo into Anima. Anima immediately recognizes the bones and importing is no problem. This means that you just have to import your figure into Maximo and create the rig. Now you can export your figure as FBX file and import it into Anima.
after any necessary adjustments, you can simply link your figure and it will walk along the path. Okay. Explained enough. Let's create a scene. First we generate a few people to follow the path. Now comes the cool shit. Back in Cinema 4D, we open the included Anima plugin. It is a bridge to Anima files and is installed with Anima. After selecting the file we need, Cinema 4D imports it immediately. Isn't that super cool? But be careful. Anima only imports one instance. This means that no objects are present. If you want to use the figures for iClone, you should export the file directly as FBX file from Anima. On the Anima website you can find a bridge for different 3D applications. Now let's quickly create a cool scene. We need some ceiling lights with a hard shadow. Now add some ambient lights and we have a usable scene. When everything is right, we export it as we like. I mostly use the PNG format. In After Effects we add the background. I love the rain hits on the lens. For these effects there is a tutorial and a preset for download on video compiled. For the rain we install the CC Rainfall tool. After everything is set, we export it to Premiere Pro and add some sound effects. Now we have it done. I hope it gave you a good insight into my way of working and you can subscribe to my channel and be rewarded with interesting clips. Peace.